so guys uh, uh, see there are two ways to go to the form from the outlook you can go from here click this nine dots and there is a form click on the form so or this is another way from the teams you will select assignment there is a you will click on the creates once you will click on create there is quiz or assignment so first we do quiz see this is the form you will click on new form so you will go on the new form here click on new form again once you click on new form this screen will come first you will write the title for the forms suppose IT quiz second quiz because I already did first quiz okay in description if you want to do something add new multiple choice question if you have it so the question number one keyboard is an output device now there are two options true or false you can see here uh, recycle bin and which answer is correct you can tick on it so when you will check so the correct answer will be the second option is correct the second question you can add the points also there is a point how many points you want two five or whatever speaker is an output device is it true or false again you can write the you can take which answer is correct suppose this one so if the student if the students will take second so his answer will be false you go to the setting see Uh, leave it as it is start date from this date and this time the quiz will be start till this time means within one hour it will appear and then it will remove so you should inform your students and send email when they finish the exam they will receive it and also you will receive it share you will copy this link you can send through email or you can i can show you the preview uh, this uh, the quiz will go to the students like this i click on preview see keyboard is an input device and uh, all this suppose the student make uh, false this one he click on false and this one he click on true he will click on send me the notification the uh, and then submit so he will receive the email and you will receive the email because you already put the correct answer so he can know the marks you can give the point again i am saying when you are taking the exam one student can make only one time this option also from setting you will choose it it's already by default so uh, see uh, it was the preview now i go to the response so you can see one response if you have many of the, the whole class so the all there will be 25 or 30 whatever i can check this uh, active status i click on review you see on the top you uh, all the students will come there if you have 25 students so 25 you can check uh, uh, all the students keyboard is an output device this uh, see he did false because i put the number one is true uh, so you can give the marks points again so it will generate c score 50 percent two questions there is so whatever uh, i'll give the mark suppose five marks for each so five out of ten he will get it okay then uh, you can see from here also question what was the question and what he did what he did the answer you can see the post score also from here suppose you i want to see the preview what he did it so from here yeah points again don't forget to add the points see points 50 percent out of 
100 so he did one question wrong one right so he got 50 percent so see now from here i will go back and then i can see the chart also for the whole class if there are 25 students so it will show how many students did correct how many did uh, wrong we can see the excel file also because it will create automatic automatically generate the file you will go there so all the students with the with the email ids and the result it will show there so from the setting also you can choose uh, in the customized thank you message if you want to write something in the end of the quiz on the end of the paper like best of luck so it will show on the end means uh, suppose you have five question after five question it will show best of luck so it's very easy and simple